Good afternoon. Before I take questions, I want to make, give you a progress report to the nation on, uh, on the, where we stand 65 days into office here on vaccinations and a few other top priorities for the American people. First, on vaccinations. On December 8th, I indicated that I hope to get 100 million shots in people's arms in my first 100 days. We met that goal last week by day 58, 42 days ahead of schedule. Now today I'm setting a second goal, <clears throat> and that is we will, by my 100th day in office, have administered 200 million shots in people's arms. That's right, 200 million shots in 100 days. I know it's ambitious, twice our original goal, but no other country in the world has even come close, not even close to what we were doing. I believe we can do it. And today, we made a historic investment in reaching the hardest hit and the most vulnerable communities, the highest risk communities, at, uh, as a consequence of the virus, by investing an additional $10 billion in being able to reach them. I also set a goal before I uh, took office of getting a majority of schools in K through eight fully open in the first 100 days. Now, thanks to the enormous amount of work done by our administration, educators, parents, local state education officials and leaders, recent Department of Education survey shows that nearly half of the K through eight schools are open now full time, five days a week for in-person learning. Not yet a majority, but we're really close and I believe in the 35 days left to go, we'll meet that goal as well. As of yesterday, <clears throat> more than 100 million payments of $1,400 have gone into people's bank accounts. That's real money in people's pockets, bringing relief instantly almost. And millions more will be getting their money very soon. One final note. Since we passed the American Rescue Plan, we're starting to see new signs of hope in our economy. Since it was passed, a majority, a majority of economic forecasters have significantly increased their projections on the economic growth that's going to take place this year. They're now projecting it will exceed 6 percent, a 6 percent growth in GDP. And just this morning, we learned that the number of people filing for weekly unemployment insurance fell by nearly 100,000 persons. It's the first time in a year the number has fallen below the pre-pandemic high. So there are still too many Americans out of work, too many families hurting, and they still have a lot of work to do. But I can say to you, the American people, Help is here, and hope is on the way. Take your questions.